Amid rising tensions in the South China Sea, the U.S. will send two aircraft carriers and several other warships to the disputed region in the coming days. While the military exercise was planned earlier, it comes as a very strategic time. This move comes just a day after China has been seen flexing its muscles in the disputed territory. The USS Nimitz and the USS Ronald Reagan carrier strike groups will conduct dual carrier operations in the area. The U.S. Navy said that the drills are to support a free and open Indo-Pacific. The Parazol and Spratly Islands are a disputed part of the South China Sea, with several countries laying claim on them. Even though China lays claim on 80% of the region, the U.S. has long accused Beijing of militarizing the islands. Yesterday, the Pentagon had criticized this move, saying that the military exercises are the latest in a long string of actions to assert unlawful maritime claims. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo also slammed China, calling the moves highly provocative. Pompeo said, and I quote, the PRC's military exercise in disputed waters of the South China Sea is highly provocative. We oppose Beijing's unlawful claims, unquote. China has, however, dismissed the U.S. criticism of its drills. Instead, going ahead to suggest that the United States was to blame for increasing tensions.